Hey, what is up guys? Web Creator Pro here. Today we're going to be doing the full 2017 Weebly tour. Weebly is an awesome free website builder. It's got a drag and drop format and it's really easy to use, really user friendly and it comes out with really really good websites. So to start off we're going to have to choose a template. So here are the, featured, uh, here are the templates. You have the featured templates, the online store templates, the business templates, portfolio templates, the personal templates, the event templates, and the blog templates. Now, um, it doesn't really matter which one you choose right now because in the future, you're just going to be able to change it inside once you've already created your website and it'll automatically format it to whatever template you choose. So I really like that feature. So we're going to choose... We're going to choose this one, uh, High Peak. I personally like this one because it's got a really, really good uh, main interface. So let's open it up. It's going to load it for you. Now, this is the first thing you're going to see. This is going to ask you to create a domain. Now, there are three ways you can use the domain. You can use the subdomain of Weebly, which is absolutely free, and you get most of the features. You can register a new domain, and to do that, you have to upgrade and you have to purchase a monthly subscription to Weebly and they'll give you free a free domain that you can register or you can use a domain you already own so if you signed up with something like on GoDaddy you can use that domain so for the sake of this video I'm just gonna use a subdomain of Weebly so let's make it website creator pro so that's going to be my website title my domain so what I'm going to get is going to be websitecreatorpro.weebly.com. So let's get right into it. So first thing you're going to notice is this right here. So this right here is your site title. So you can choose to not have it there. You can have, where'd it go? You can choose to have text or you can put in a logo. I'm not going to use a logo right now. I'm just going to use a, a name. So it's going to be website creator. Alright, so I'm just going to run you down with the basic features right now and then we'll get to a more in-depth look. So with basic we have a title, so that just gives you a title. Um, so I'm going to do my title here, Website Creator Pro. Now as you can see, it is, um, it is white and it does not stand out against that background so I'm just gonna go right here and we're gonna change the color to black oh that didn't work sorry we gotta highlight it and then change it to black so the next feature we have is text so text allows you just your basic paragraphs you can you know type uh, so welcome to my sample page now we're also going to make that black so that you can see it. So that's that's the basic title and text. The next thing we have is an image. So an image is exactly what it says it is. You can upload an image of your choice, um, whether it be you know a big image, small image, it'll automatically format it for you. So the next thing we have is gallery. So this looks like it's an image and it says upload images, but Whenever you upload more than one image, it will automatically make it into a grid format. And there's multiple settings on here. It's kind of cool. Um, it's a good thing if you're doing a portfolio, especially if you're a photographer. So next thing we have is a slideshow. So a slideshow, that's exactly what it is, but there's multiple choices with this. You can do a simple slideshow so they won't see the thumbnails. You can do it with one with thumbnails on the bottom, numbers on the bottom, thumbnails on top, thumbnails on right, or double thumbnails. So we're just going to do a simple slideshow, bleh, slideshow. So you just upload multiple images, and then uh, it'll automatically put it to a slideshow. And you can caption them. You can do whatever you want with them. So the next thing we're going to do is a map. So I find the map goes really well on the about page. So you know, if you're a company, 
you can automatically, you know, tell users where you are. So the way a map works, you just go in here and you select your location and it will automatically find it. It's really awesome. So the next thing is a contact form. So the way a contact form works is you go over to contacts or you create a slide for contact. It doesn't come with all of them. You put a contact form in. So I'll put it in right here. And then what it allows me to do, it allows, it allows people, um, so let's say we say fill this out with comments. Oops. So now if somebody wants to post a comment, they put in their name, their email, and their comment, and it'll automatically take it to whatever email you have it set to email you to. So with this, we have a new uh, selection of items. So we have form fields. Um, that's These are what you can put in your box. So you have a short text box, which is what this is right here, this text box right here. This is a large text box. The options buttons allow you to give multiple options but they can only choose one, but then with a the checks box, they can choose multiple. A drop down box gives you the uh, opportunity to have them select something. So you can write something like question one or question two, and you can edit all of it, and then they can choose it. The next thing is a file upload. So if they want to upload a file to you, they can. Uh, now notice that that has a little lightning bolt. That means you have to upgrade and have a more premium package to use it. The next thing we have is the name field, which is what you see right here, and then email, which is what you see right here. Address gives you a full address line and a phone number where they can put their phone number down. All right, so we go back home. All right, so our next thing is a newsletter form. Now this one you can put under a news tab, most likely, and you'd put a... Oh, this is a blog page, so we're not going to put it on here, but let's say we went under services, put in newsletter form. So they can fill this out if they want to receive your email, and what it'll do is they'll put their email in, and it'll automatically have them subscribe to the newsletter so that it'll tell you what people did so you can automatically put all the emails into one email and send it. Uh, the next thing we have this full menu again here which is form field so same as the uh, contact so the next thing we have is a button so buttons they're I think they're pretty nice because they look better than a link and what you do is you put a button in and then you can change the way the button looks to match whatever you're using and you can change the button text to let's say Let's say we want this button to take them to our about page. So we write about, and then we go to link, standard page, and we can choose any of our pages for them to go to. So now if they were to click on the about button right here, it takes them to our page. So the last thing is embed code. Now this allows you to embed HTML. So if you have maybe an Amazon associates link, affiliate link, sorry, or maybe a Fiverr badge, or anything that will require you to put in a HTML, that's what that's for. So now this is our structure tab. So this is what's gonna give our overall look some structure. So let's say we have a title, and then we wanna separate our title and our text. We take a divider, we put it in right there, and it gives some space and puts a small little line in there. It just gives it an overall cleaner look. Now, if you don't want to use a divider, you don't want that line there, but you still want that space there, you can use a spacer to give it space. And so now, if I were to put text under the spacer, it'd be still be separated like there was a divider there, but there's no line. So the next thing, this is new, it was recently added, is a section. So what you're seeing right here is separated into sections. So this one's a section, this one's a section, this one's a section and the thing that uh, is different about sections is you can edit their background so instead of having all one page with one big background you can have multiple backgrounds we'll get into that soon so you can just add in a section 
and then boom, you have yourself a new section. Okay, so our next thing is media ads. So you can add in an HT video, but that's for, as you can see with the lightning bolt, that's for an upgraded package. Audio, same thing. Now document, they can upload a document, or sorry, you can upload a document, and they'll see it. Now a file you can upload, and they won't see it on the page, you'll have to download it. Now you can also add a YouTube video. So if I were to, what you do is you get the box, and you click on it, and you put in a YouTube URL, and it'll automatically pop the video up on your site, and they'll be able to see it through your site instead of having to go to YouTube to see it. And there's also Flash, so if you add, wanted to add anything like a Flash game or something that required Flash, there's that too. Now the next section is e-commerce. We're going to get into that a bit because that is what has to do with a store. So now this is just extras. So there's a search box, again, for upgraded, but allows them to search for anything on your website. A block quote that adds a nice box to put a quote inside of so it's not just text it gives it you know a distinct look there's social icons so what these are is these are your um, social networks and so you just click on the thing manage icons and then you can what lag flagging out sorry so manage icons now you can for instance link your Instagram and if they click on the icon you can do it and you can also choose for it to not show so if you don't have a LinkedIn then you can choose for the LinkedIn not to show now the next uh, icon is an RSP, RSVP form so this is you know if they want to sign up for something you can use it or if it's for something like a you know if you're having your wedding invitations or you do wedding invitations, or you're doing invitations of any sort, and that's what your website does, you can do an RSVP form. The next thing we have is a survey. So this kind of works the same as um, the, the buttons did in the other one. So you can add like a question, like, how'd you hear about this site? If other, please specify, what's your age? That kind of thing. You can add anything you want. These are just some ones they start you off with. But again, it's the same form fields um, section. All right. So now we also have Google AdSense. So for those of you who don't know what Google AdSense is, if your site is getting enough views monthly, daily, weekly, whatever, you can sign up for Google AdSense will allow you to put a little ad anywhere on the page and then you sign up for Google AdSense and if Google AdSense sees that you're getting enough people viewing that ad, they'll start to pay you. Um, and lastly, that's a feed reader that is for blog posts. Alright, so our last section down here is installed apps. So this tells you uh, this is, you're able to add apps made by Weebly so, or, um, you know, different companies. But uh, I really like the made by Weebly ones because normally they're free and they're pretty good. So there's, you know, counters, call out box, tabs, facts and questions, price chart, code blocks, simple table, team cards, accordion, Google apps, but that costs money, and simple chat, which also costs money. That's a free trial. Oops, sorry, guys. So now, uh, now that we're done with the basic building, let's go to pages. So pages right here, this is how you create new pages that'll go up here. And so you can click to different pages and it'll allow you to edit them in the website creator. Um, and then you can also, whenever you add a new page, you can do a standard page, a blog page, an external page. So that just takes them, takes you to an external website or a non-clickable menu. So that means if I make a non-clickable menu, let's say I wanted to do a blog. Done. Um, or not a blog, sorry. Let's say it's... It's not letting me edit it. There we go. Hmm. There we go. So let's say I wanted to offer services. Well, I don't want them to click on the services tab. So now if they go up here, they can't click on it. It doesn't take them anywhere. But what you can do is you can add a page such as um, weddings. And then you take weddings and you put it under services. Therefore, they can't click on services, but they can click on weddings whenever it pops down. 
So also we have um, a blog page, which is, that's what our news thing right here is. So this will give you a way to actually blog and people can comment and there's all sorts of awesome stuff, but we'll get to that soon. All right, so our next tab is theme. Now this is where we choose all of our th fonts and change our theme. So like I was saying earlier, if you wanted to change the theme that you have because you don't like the current one, you can just press change theme, choose a new theme, and it will automatically switch to that theme and format everything for you. So we can also do what's called dark mode, which I like because it gives it kind of a cleaner look. But what it does is it makes all the text darkened and makes the top and bottoms darkened so that way you can have you know like a dark looking interface which I kinda like I, th I prefer it over the light one now this is where you can change your fonts and the sizes so this is the site title right here so I can change the font the color navigation menu which are these right here um, and I can change the font the color everything I can change all of this stuff um, headline is this that's the subheadline. You can change the font, the color, again, the size. Um, paragraph titles, par uh, which is down here. Those are paragraph titles. Paragraph text, and that's for all of it. Links, you can change the link color. Buttons, you can change their fonts. Block quotes, you can change fonts again. Blog post titles, fonts, and size, and all that image captions so it's basically just changing fonts but it's it's I like it um, so you can uh, you can you know change it to look more modern more rustic whatever you want so also we have some theme options right here so our next tab is the store now this is if you're running an online business this is how you do it on here so first off you have to add your store information which is your address all that kind of thing you add products, uh, so if you sell shirts or shoes or whatever it is, and then you can also, you set up, if you have premium, you can use Square, Authorize.net, and PayPal, but without uh, upgrading it, you can use Stripe, which uh, is, is the free version of how to accept money on here. So you can look at your orders, you can give out coupons if you are premium. You can set out products, uh, you can do categories and gift cards, and you can send out store emails. All right, so our next thing is apps. We are, I already showed you the apps tab. Our next store thing is setting, which allows us to, you know, change our uh, navigate, our uh, search engine optimization, what the editors are, members, my apps, blog. All that so that's your basic settings and this is where you can contact Weebly if you need help so I know this was kind of a quick tour but this gives you everything you need to know about Weebly and look for my future videos to find out how to make a good running website be it a blog or a store uh, thank you this has been the Weebly website tour 2017 I hope to see you guys in the next video remember to like comment and subscribe thank you